So, as we well know, the majority of the House of Representatives is dwindling down. Now you have a House of Representative on April 19th who is going to resign. And there have been several House of Representatives from the Republican Party who has resigned. Do you think they resigned by choice? Yes, they resigned by choice, but do you know why they resigned? They resigned because they are tired of Donald Trump. They are tired of the MAGA coat that he has a hold on the rest of the Republicans, whether it's in the Senate or in the House of Representatives. All right? The Republican Party that you and I know, I'm not Republican, but I've seen Republicans. I know what they have done, and, and, and I know what the Republican Party stands for. But ever since Donald Trump has taken over, he has making the Republican Party a his Republican Party, not the Republican Party of the people, a his Republican Party. Okay, senators who's who 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 who, who people have voted for to represent their state are not being represented by the state. They're representing Donald Trump. House leaders who have been chosen to represent their district are not being represented by their district. They being they are representing Donald Trump. Okay? This House of Representatives has been the least and I repeat this at least the least workable House of Representatives ever. They have passed 52 laws when in a normal year or in a normal time it's between 300 and 400 that they pass. 52. Why? Because they're all hung over with either the Biden indictment or or a, or a, the impeachment of Biden, or the Biden has classified information on, or he had, he had classified documents, documentation, all that. Nothing relevant to what we have to do here in America to ourselves. Jim Jordan's an idiot. All right, Grimley's an idiot. All right, Mary J. Taylor Green is an idiot. Bobert's an idiot. But she's no longer there. All right, all these people who are in these committees, that all they're doing is relegating, or, or not relegating, uh, um, going to Congress and doing meetings after meetings, hearings after hearings, and just indicting Joe Biden or, 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 or Jeff Major Taylor Green, Major Taylor Green, and showing naked, naked pictures of Hunter, Hunter Biden. Yo, nothing has been done. Nothing has been done with a laptop. There's been no proof that they were in cahoots. There's no proof that got that. That Biden was in, involved in whatever shenanigans Hunter Biden is. So just let it go. Let it go. We have more important things to do. We truly do have more important things, more important things to do. Years ago, I told you guys, years ago, I told you guys, even before <clears throat> Trump became president, I told you guys, are you guys not, look at my YouTube, are you guys not worried that China is buying land in this country at an abundant um, rate? Um, rate? They are paying double to triple the price of what normal land would um, would be. That 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 didn't concern you until Donald Trump mentioned something like that. When I was saying that before Trump became president, because I've seen it with my own eyes. Okay, that didn't concern you. Doesn't doesn't that doesn't concern you that we have homeless people in this country? Doesn't concern you. That we have in a drug epidemic in, the, epidemic in this country. It doesn't concern you that we have sex trafficking. It doesn't concern you that there are being children being exploited for sex in this country. That doesn't concern you. What concerns you is that this idiot would be the next president of the United States of America. Because you think in your in your in your diluted mind that he is the best. But none of those things that I taught, none of those things that I taught you, none of those things that I, that I, that I told you, 
is irrelevant. Our train system is horrible. All right, the, the Democrats wanted to do an infrastructure where we can put better trains on the tracks, fix our tracks, put better trains. Everywhere in the world you go see that it's, a, it's a developed, their train system is better than ours. Their infrastructure, you go to the highways, you go to the airports, are way better than ours. Yet we're like, why? Because all the money goes to senators, okay? There's not one fucking senator in the United States Senate, whether it's the Democrat or Republican, that's not a millionaire. That's not. But yet they went in there, a millionaire. I mean, they went in there. They went in there not having millions to now having millions. Okay? You have guys who are 90 years old in the Republican Party who are still in the Senate. Shouldn't even be there. Why? Why isn't there a term limit? Huh? Why are we still bullshitting with stupid bullshit? Right? You're not going to fight the war against drugs. Stop that bullshit. Stop with the narrative that that drugs are coming from Mexico and we need to stop the border. Drugs come from everywhere. All right? If you're from the streets, you know that they come from They come from airports. They come from the sea. They come from the northern side of the United States. They come from Canada. They come on planes. They come on boats. They come in people's bags. They got mules. They come everywhere. They even come in clear submarines. Things you didn't know that they build. So when the so so when the Marines, I mean, so when the United States, United States Coastal Service catches one of these one of these vessels that come in, they catch one. Oh, we got two hundred kilos. But yeah, but you know how many kilos have gone by? Because that's the point. You let one, they let one keep one one vessel get caught. But yeah, that distraction has distracted them from the other ones that are that are going through. <clears throat> why are we so instead of so instead of concentrating on that, why aren't we concentrating on rehab, on helping these young men and women who are in re, who need rehab get the help that they need? Because I know, and I seen the, I've been there where a person goes to rehab and they say we have no beds, so they got they get turned away. Because they got no beds. And what that does, it discourages that person from getting help. It says, you know what? They had no bed for me today, so I'm not going. So that, I feel that they, they, they don't want me. Instead of saying, you know what? Stay here. They can put them in a the room. Or they can put them in bed. They can look for a hospital for that person, for a rehab, and send that person there. But that's what we need. But we don't spend our fucking money on that. All right? We don't do that. We don't have universal health care because they say, hey, it's too expensive. It's not too expensive. But you give a tax cut to the rich, you give a tax cut to, 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 to this big corporation, but you can't give a universal health care? Are you serious? Are you serious? I don't want to hear we're the greatest country in the world. We may have the greatest people in the world with great hearts, but for the majority, we have a, a, a country that's racist, that we, that's divided. That this idiot of an orange man has divided us together. It hasn't divided me because I still think I still think the same. But you have white people thinking they have white privilege. You have white people thinking that they have to have the best. You have white people think you have white people thinking that social security is a fucking entitlement when it's not an entitlement. SSI is an entitlement. Section eight is an entitlement. SNAP is an entitlement. But not something you fucking work for. It's not an entitlement, you fucking idiots.